What's up people, it's the Phoenix here and today I'm gonna show you how to load up Android 4.0 on Windows. Alright, so let's get started. Okay, so what I've got here is a software, it's called VirtualBox, it is by uh, Oracle Corporations and you can download it for free from virtualbox.org. Okay, so the thing behind VirtualBox is that it creates an emulated hardware background for you to test out any kind of OS on your native OS. So that means that you don't really need to shut down Windows if you are using Windows and then load up Linux if you want to test it out. Alright, so that really saves time. You don't need, really need to create a boot partition or format your C drive. So if you've got an OS and you just want to test it out, and you don't really need to create don't really want to create a boot partition and or format your C drive then that's when VirtualBox comes to rescue okay so after you've installed it on your system you need to download the compressed version of Android 4.0 ICS and I've given the link in the description below so just hit the download and you uh, you get this compressed uh, file it's called Android v v4 so just go ahead and extract it I'm gonna use pzip for this because I like the interface of pzip you can use winrar2 or maybe winzip if you want it so we're gonna extract it right now the actual size of the file is about 200 MB but you can see that it has been compressed down to 88 MB so I guess it would take a bit long yeah Mm, all right, it's almost done. Yeah, that was the power of Ivy Bridge. Good work, Intel. Okay, so when you open the folder, you will see three things. All right, that's the machine definition, and that's an, a disk image, and that's an SD card image. All right, so you don't really need to mess up with these red things because you you're not gonna use this right now. So just double click this blue virtual box machine definition and that will bring up your virtual box manager. All right, so there you have it. And you can see that it says it's OS type Linux 2.6 because Android was created on Linux kernel uh, and it's running on a base memory of 512 MB and a video memory of 16 MB. So that's bare minimum to run ICS, but you can configure it for a much smoother experience from the settings tab. Yeah, you can see that. Yeah, you can increase the base memory from 4 MB to 2 gigs and the display from 1 MB to 128 MB. All right, I've got a gig of video card, but I don't know why it's not showing up. All right, so I'm not gonna uh, go into this thing right now. I'm just gonna leave it as it is, and I'll just go ahead and uh, start this. It said it's powered off, so I'm gonna start it from uh, the start uh, button. All right, and that's the magic. You don't need, really need to you know, shut down Windows and then go to OS. You have the Windows running, and yes, you can have a second OS running too on this virtual box. So that's really, really great. I like that so I'm gonna head start now and that would load up ICS on our computer okay and there we have it okay people it's gonna take a bit of time not much mm, yeah so you actually can you can install Android on your PC because it was created for phones and for tablets and so VirtualBox actually creates an emulated hardware, hardware background so that I, uh, Android, any version, can, uh, can run smoothly on this. So that's really great for developers when they want to test it out and they don't have an Android device. Or maybe you want to create an app and then want to test it out on this without you want to, you want to and you don't want to test it out on your phone, it might crash for some software failure so that's when the virtual OS helps you out alright so now we're gonna unlock the screen and go ahead to the apps menu okay so just click this lock 
hit the circle up and got this done so the calibration is not really good but uh, we're gonna use the arrow keys of the keyboard to select this uh, uh, this tab menu all right so hit enter and that's done you've got browser calculator calendar clock developer tools downloads email gallery movie studio music people phone search settings and speech recorder and in the widgets menu you've got the bookmarks okay so you can see that it's not really running smooth because I did not configure the OS to its best uh, so I'm fine with that so I'm just gonna go ahead and power off the machine yeah and select OK and that brings us back to our Windows platform so you just saw how amazingly easy it was to load up Android on your Windows without you having to mess up with Windows so that was really great Oracle and so this is the Phoenix signing out for now I hope you liked the video stay subscribed and hit the like alright people bye bye